before I get started, I want you guys to click on the subscribe button. I want to try to get my channel back up to 60,000 because I know I had 60,000 subscribers before I deleted my Fearless 2005 channel. So now I'm starting from scratch. So click on the subscribe button on the bottom. If you want to donate to the channel, click on the cash app button that's in the description box. Now I'm going to try to go through this video as quick as I can because I have not been asleep yet and you could probably tell by my eyes that I'm tired and I am tired so I'm gonna try to push this video as quick as I can even before the camera decides to shut itself off but I just want to speak uh, briefly about T.I. taking his daughter to get her hymen checked okay to see if she's still a virgin now, from what I understand, the girl is 18 years of age. She's an adult. And I'm sure that he still supports her. So, because of the fact that he supports her, when she feels that she's too grown to not respect the choices and decisions of her father, then it's past time for her to find her own place and move out. See, you have a lot of females out there, a lot of black females that always talk about how the man is not in the home and how a child, a son or the daughter needs a father. And we see on a lot of these paternity courts where there are so many young black males and even young black females that will come on paternity court and every single one of them just about say I don't know who my father is I didn't grow up with my father so I don't want my child to be that way and the crazy thing about that is they don't want their child to be like themselves growing up without a dad but yet they are out there opening their legs to any time they can harry and a lot of times they open their legs for revenge because the dude they're with cheated so she feels that because he cheated she's got the right to go out and cheat herself the difference is he may get a woman pregnant but he can't get pregnant she's the one that end up pregnant not knowing who her child's father is now one thing I want to say to a lot of y'all black females, and I know that some of you are not going to like what I say. But you guys need to stop acting like the woman's body is so difficult that a man can't and don't understand it. I've seen photos posted on Facebook where black females will take their sons out and just say they're in the park somewhere and he's got to go to the bathroom. Females got this, this thought in mind that dudes can just freely whip it out wherever and whenever they please. So you got your son peeing against a tree and then you have the audacity to take your camera and video record or take a picture of your son, your little boy, peeing on a tree. And then you take that image and post it on the internet. You don't think that embarrasses that little boy? You don't think that one day he's going to grow up and whatever you put on the internet, you can't take it back? Because somebody will download it, someone will copy it. And they might even use it as a video photo of your child peeing against a tree and then you posting it on Facebook thinking it's so cute. But yet, when a dude steps in, now, I want to make this perfectly clear. I don't agree with T.I. posting his daughter's business on social media. I don't agree with that, not one bit. 
But if you look at the average black female that's a single parent mom, you raise your sons and you raise your daughters. You did that. Look at the condition of your sons and your daughters now. Now that T.I. decided to have his daughter, I'm going to take it that T.I. is concerned. He's got the same concern that every father, every real father has regarding his daughters. Because like women say that women know women, men know men. And when you have a father that's overprotective of his daughter. And keep in mind, I hear a lot of y'all saying like, well, does he treat his son the same way? Men and women are different. Even according to you, you claim that women's bodies are so complicated that men don't have a right or say over your body, but yet you're always comparing yourself to a man. So you ask the question, does he treat his son the same way? Men and women are not different. Nature is not fair, but nature is righteous and e even. See, it's like when it comes to uh, the responsibilities of a man and a woman in the home. The father's got his responsibilities. The woman got her responsibilities. That's equal. Yes, you are equal because you have responsibilities and that man has responsibilities. If that woman decide to go outside the home and work, they agree upon that. And you helping to bring the bacon in the home, then he should be able to help you take care of that house. But if someone comes in that house and see that it's always a mess, that man is not going to be talked about. It's the woman. He's got that woman in that house and she's filthy. Or if he's doing his laundry, where your woman at? Or if there's no food in the house, the first thing they're going to say is, well, what kind of man you got in your house? Your man should be doing this. So everybody's got their responsibility. And just think, y'all raised a lot of these kids and look at the condition of your daughters and your sons now. When you say she got it from a mama, that's true because now you got all these young girls got their legs wide open, don't know who their child's father is, sleeping with any Tom, Dick, and Harry because it's their body and they can do what they want with their body. So their daughters are following in your footsteps and you're lying to them and now they're, they're standing before a paternity judge crying saying that I don't know who my dad is. And they're out there now following the same footsteps that you're following because you fail to listen to that man. When a father's in the home, you, you feel that you know so much more than that man do. So T.I. is only doing what a lot of men do when they're overprotective, which personally, I think is a good idea. I don't think that's a bad idea. I don't think that he should broadcast it over the, over the media, like over social media like that, over the internet. I don't feel he should do that. But a lot of these young girls, they lie. They lie to you. And you ask them, are you having sex? No, mom, I'm not having sex. And before you realize it, they're either pregnant or they get pregnant and then get an abortion without you knowing it. Because it's her body. And according to the HIPAA law, she really don't have to tell you or the nurses really don't have to give you no information on your little daughter. So, yes, yeah, she's 18 years of age, but she's also grown enough to make her own choice and decision. And if she didn't like what with T.I., her father uh, requested of her, she could move out, support herself. Because when it comes to child support, that man is always responsible for that child up until they're 21 years of age. Unless they decide to go to college and then he got to pay for the college. So why can't he have a say in his daughter's life? Why can't he make the hard decisions, the unpopular decisions pertaining to his daughter? He don't want his daughter to get pregnant. He don't want just any dude going up inside his daughter and she's not knowing who the baby daddy is or 
the dude is sorry and don't take care of it. And guess who's going to end up taking care of that child? The grandparents. T.I. and his wife. So there is nothing wrong with T.I. being concerned with his daughter, if that's the case. If that is the case. From another angle, could he be protecting his investment? And I'm just going to leave it right there. She could be an investment for him. To the highest dollar. All right. So but I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to stick with the fact that maybe he's concerned about his daughter and he just don't want her to go out there and get pregnant. Maybe he's like a lot of fathers out there that many of y'all don't know and many of y'all rejected that feels that get married first. If you're going to have sex, let it be your husband. When you lay down with your husband, let it be that you are a virgin. Be different. Be different. You don't have to follow the crowd. Just because everybody out there having sex, and I hear a lot of people talking, male and female, well, when I was young, I was out there having sex, and all these kids, it's a normal thing. And that's why there's so many illegitimate kids out there in the black community. That's why so many black people are on public assistance. That's why so many black kids are dying in the street at the hand of each other and at the hand of police because there's no real stability in the black home. So yes, I don't, I agree with T.I. If he's not looking at her as an investment, if he's looking at her to protect her from the wolves out there, uh, protecting her from what many of you black females failed to protect your kids. You failed to protect your sons and your daughters. And now you see your sons as a potential GoFundMe when he get killed in the street. The first thing you do is not show love for your son, but set up a GoFundMe to try to make some money off it. That pacifies you. And it's sad. So when it comes to T.I., I think if I had a daughter, I'm a strict, I'm a strict dad anyway. I'm, I'm very strict. You, could not, you, you ever talk to my sons, you ask my sons. They'll tell you that they feel that I was strict. I don't think I was this, as strict as I could be. But yeah, even with my sons, I was strict. And Angela Yee says something like, uh, it's going to damage the daughters if the, if the father's too strict. It can damage them and... Because we women, because they feel the women are so complicated. They're human beings. They're human beings. They are human beings. There's nothing complicated about a woman. Because according to scriptures, she was taken from man. And because she was taken from man, the man should know her better than she know herself. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app button and donate to the channel. But I ain't mad at T.I. But I just find it interesting that a lot of y'all that was on T.I.'s side when he was disrespecting a black female. When he was disrespecting Candace Owen on stage, y'all was giving him applause. You were saying big ups to T.I. and he's really talking black. So now y'all got a lot of names. He's a pervert. He's a narcissist. Y'all love that name on, on social media. Y'all just run that dry. Everybody's a narcissist. You know, everybody's narcissist. Oh, you narcissist. That's narcissist. That's narcissist. He got all kind of names now. You know, you got females. Oh, I ain't like T.I. anyway. But you were praising him when he was on stage with Candace Owen. See, see how quick it is for y'all to change? See, y'all always talk about you ain't got no dad in your home and the kids growing up without fathers and where, where are the fathers? And then when you got somebody like T.I. And I don't agree with everything T.I. says, but when you got somebody like T.I. And he's trying to make effort. And y'all are like bashing him for that. Tells a story right there. So feedback. Tell me what you think. Until next time. 
I'm fearless.